Hey guys, just before I get into this career mode video, if you are enjoying these, then please do leave a like. It really helps me gauge um, if you guys are enjoying these FIFA 15 videos or not. But uh, yeah, just before we get into the video, if you do like uh, Ultimate Team Coins, then check out GameGoldTrader.com. You can pick up yourself some pretty cheap ones these days and use Calfreezy at checkout. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to this FIFA 15 career mode video and I'm gonna assume there aren't many Brazilian fans watching my video right now. You're all probably in hiding. I don't blame you, but uh, if there are any sober German fans I commend you on uh, staying sober and not being completely drunk because I would have gone mad after a victory of that caliber Anyways, congratulations to Germany on making it through But uh, let's talk a little bit about career mode and what we can expect in FIFA 15 We're gonna be going over a few youngsters and first up is our man Lazar Markovic I believe is how you'd pronounce that now he currently plays at Benfica but there's so much talk about him being on the brink of a move to Liverpool for around 20 million pounds in the moment that'll be really interesting if that does come through but uh, let's take a look at his potential right now so his potential at the moment is 87 if you guys are curious where I got this screenshot from I used a website called sofifa.com I'm sure if you just google it it'll, uh, it'll come up for you guys and it's got the most up-to-date potentials now um, if you're curious actually EA do update potentials of players and as the game progresses, Foothead haven't updated theirs in uh, since the game first came out, so their potential ratings are skewed. So uh, I do love using Foothead, but I would not recommend using them at the moment um, for potential ratings until they sort that out. But uh, yeah, um, Markovic is a really good youngster. He plays um, as a winger, kind of. Now, I've watched a few highlight videos of him, and I have to admit, I really wasn't all that impressed with him. I wasn't entirely sure where the hype was coming from, but... So many people have told me that this guy is really the next best thing and uh, he is going to become something special. Um, so I am interested to see if that really does happen. I'd love to hear what you guys think about it. Um, I'm sure there'll be a few Liverpool fans have got something to say about it. So I'd like to hear what you guys have to say. But uh, yeah, this lad, you can expect him to have a pretty high potential rating next year. And of course, as much as we might not like it, um, EA does tend to give players uh, a, a slightly overrate them when they do move to bigger clubs and uh, Liverpool uh, if he does move to Liverpool then uh, that could very much be a possibility so uh, we could see his potential going up a little bit anyways let's move up on to the next player and this one you may not have heard of his name is Zalalem. Now, I'm not sure if that's how you would pronounce it, but it's how we're going to pronounce it. It's actually a pretty cool last name. I, I'd rather have that one, I guess. And uh, he's actually 17. I'm not sure why Sofifa there says that he's a 16. If he was born on the 26th of January, 1997, I believe that actually makes him 17. I could be wrong, but uh, hey-ho. Um, let's talk about this guy now. Um, he plays for Arsenal, actually. He was signed when he was really young. He was uh, He's played all of his football, actually, in America. But he's from Germany. Germany and is um, also part Ethiopian but he because he's also a US citizen I think he can also play for the US and uh, Jurgen Klinsmann, Klinsmann the US uh, national team coach actually tried to get him to pick uh, pick uh, USA as his national um as his nationality so he could take him to uh, the World Cup or uh, you know make him a uh, USA player anyways and uh, I don't know which one he chose according to Sofifa it looks like he chose Germany but uh, yeah he had all those options available to him so that was a pretty interesting thing that he had going on and uh, yeah let's talk a little bit about him now uh, he actually has played in the um, Arsenal first team he's a really young guy as you can tell you know 17 years old but uh, he played out in the tour the when uh, Arsenal go out in their Asia tour last year um, he played there and uh, Wilshire had nothing but praise for this guy said he was really good technically on the ball he can play really well with both feet and uh, yeah so they had nothing but praise for him and there's quite a few different stories about um, what happened when he went to uh, trial pretty much for Arsenal that uh, you know uh, as soon as he saw the lad play he went over of uh, Wenger went over to uh, his dad and was just like your son will be an Arsenal player but you hear all those sort of stories all the time and uh, yeah, I'm not too sure how much of him I believe, but uh, at the moment his uh, potential is 81, obviously being really young. There's quite a difference between his overall rating and potential, but it really wouldn't surprise me, especially if this guy starts to get more first team action, then uh, you'll see his potential go up to something like an 83, 84. And, uh, you know, if he does perform well in those uh, first team opportunities, then you can see that going even higher. So, uh, yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this lad. Let's move on to the next one. 
Next up is this Belgium superstar. Well, I don't want to call him a superstar. He's obviously very young. He's 18 years old, um, and his name's Origi. He has just played magnificently for Belgium in the World Cup. Um, this guy is lightning quick as well. He is really, really fast. To anyone who's been watching the World Cup, or more specifically have been watching Belgium, then you will have seen this guy play at um, certain points during the World Cup. And he was really impressive for me. I really liked uh, what he had to, to offer. I believe he currently plays for Lille at the moment over in the French League. And he does pretty well. His stats aren't necessarily that amazing for the club. But, uh, you know, from what you can see, especially only being 18 years old, he looks like someone who has a lot to prove. And, uh, you know, and from what everyone's pretty much saying, especially around his World Cup performances, I really thought that he really made a name for himself as, uh, you know, a serious up-and-coming uh, striker. And uh, off the back of that, there's been plenty of interest from other clubs as well. Um, quite a few Premier League clubs had their uh, nose in to see what the deal was with Origi. And uh, yeah, he looks like an interesting player. It'll be uh, interesting to see if he does go to a different club or he just stays there, develops a little bit more and then uh, moves on when he's a little bit better. But yeah, he has played very well for Belgium. And I'm sure if you're, a, uh, if you're from Belgium, you'd be very happy with the way he played um, throughout the tournament. So uh, yeah, that's going to be it for uh, Origi there. And uh, let's see who we got next. This lad right here, Memphis Depay, has been absolutely quality for Netherlands. And he's just a prime example of someone who has taken the opportunity of playing at the World Cup and just grabbed it by the balls and just being like, world, this is what I got. Because this guy turned up and he has played very well at the World Cup so far. And he's definitely g given people something to think about. And he's certainly been very impressive. And there's no doubt about it that clubs are going to be interested in watching this guy develop. He is 20 years old. Again, so FIFA what are you doing, man? Why you got all the ages me messed up? I mean, he was born on the 13th of February, 1994, but that doesn't make him 19. That makes him 20. I Maybe my math is just horribly wrong. But uh, yeah, anyways. Um, yeah, so we got this lad here. He looks absolutely quality. He's currently got a potential of 84. And I really think that's kind of off right now. Um, I personally think it should be 85 to 87. But uh, maybe FIFA are in the process of updating that. It currently has an overall rating of 76. Again, I, I don't necessarily expect that to go up or down too much, but I think his potential should definitely be a little bit higher. He is very young and he's got uh, quite a while to go. But um, yeah, overall, he is uh, he's something to keep an eye out for and he's an exciting player to watch develop. So let's move on to our final player of today's video. It's none other than the English man himself, Raheem Sterling, who, uh, if you've been watching the Premier League at all this season, chances are you probably saw him do something, um, especially when he's been playing for Liverpool. He's been really impressive. And as you can just see from his positions, he plays right wing, left wing, and cam. Um, he's really been deployed all around the pitch um, for Liverpool. And being a Liverpool fan, I certainly have thoroughly enjoyed watching Raheem Sterling this season. He has been a real treat to watch. And he's definitely something for the future. He's been playing so, so well. And at times, he's been Liverpool's best player. Um, of course, you got, uh, the, well, you had maybe the likes of Suarez in there. But Raheem Sterling had his moments of uh, brilliance. And he was so much fun to watch as well. And even in some of the English games in the World Cup, he was the only one that looked like he was actually doing something. But uh, yeah, again, he's young. And he's still got a lot to prove. A lot of time to develop as well. And uh, there's it's so easy to overhype um, young English players as well. You don't want to get too ahead of yourself. But uh, the future certainly looks promising for Raheem Sterling and uh, FIFA seemed to think so as well. He's got a potential of 85 and uh, a current overall rating of 79. It wouldn't surprise me if his overall went up just a little bit. Um, not by much, though. I'm, I'm talking possibly an 80, but uh, um, his potential, uh, that might go up a little bit depending on how well his season goes um, in, the in, in, the, in the near future. And just so you guys know, uh, I kind of got something to admit to you all, and that is that I accidentally deleted my first career mode um, FIFA 15 video. I know I'm, I'm literally a dumb motherfucker, and I don't know what I was doing because sometimes um, if you don't correctly upload a video, you have to delete it, and I just accidentally deleted it. So I apologize if you're trying to look for my video I did, um, what was it, yesterday or two days ago. Um, you're not going to be able to find it. It's not, uh, you know, it's not... It's not lost, I just accidentally deleted it. 
I wish there was some sort of recycling bin for YouTube videos, but there isn't, and I have to pay for my mistake. So I apologize if you guys uh, wanted to rewatch that or go ahead and take a look at it, but unfortunately it won't be there. Um, there were really good, interesting plays, and I thought that was a, a particularly good video of mine. But uh, oh well, we'll leave it at that. I don't want to cry too much to you guys. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and as always, I will make sure that I don't delete this video so that you guys can leave comments and let me know who you think is someone I should keep an eye out for for FIFA 15 career mode youngsters um, and hopefully you guys will enjoy the next video where we talk about some more young people and what they have to offer for FIFA 15 career mode have a fantastic day guys and uh, I, I I'm gonna hug all of my Brazilian fans if I have any and uh, you Germans can take care of yourselves I'll see you guys later bye bye